Hi guys, welcome back to Lie Time. Today I'm going to be making another recipe from Just Add Magic called Extra Presents Birthday Cake. If you don't know what Just Add Magic is about, it's one of my favorite TV shows. Um, it's about three girls who are all best friends and um, in their attic find this magical cookbook that was like one of their grandmas and they're like oh my gosh this is so cool so they start making the recipes from it and they find out that the recipes are magic and can spell people all right now let's get baking for this recipe you need one cup of word pro sugar one stick of soft butter two eggs two teaspoons of Livonian vanilla, one and a half cup of flour, one and three fourths teaspoon of baking powder, um, a half cup of milk, and one fourth cup of fruit preserves. Also, most people don't have um, Wurpo sugar or Livonian vanilla. That's not a thing. I got it for my birthday. So, in case you don't have it, don't worry. Just use the regular one. Um, it's not a real thing. <laughs> First, you're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then, grease a flour nine inch round cake pan. Also this. Next, mix your sugar and butter together in a bowl. So we mixed our butter and now we're gonna pour in our sugar. Now you're gonna add your eggs in one at a time and then you're gonna add your vanilla. Now this is what it should look like. And then you're going to stir in dry ingredients and be sure to mix well. Your dry ingredients will be uh, baking powder and um, the flour. Also, don't forget to mix the size of the bowl really well and get all that flour incorporated with everything. It should look like this. Your last thing is add the milk and stir really well. Now, this is what it should look like. And you can also now at this time add preserves. Preserves are strawberry, blueberry, um, jam. I personally don't like that, so I'm not adding that. But you can. And you would so it. yeah, and you would mix it together. So yeah, but this is how mine is because I don't like that. Now this is what um, it should look like. So now I'm gonna put it in my 350 degree oven. And once it's done, um, be sure to stick a toothpick in the middle and make sure it comes out clean. I think I'm going to put it in for like 25 minutes, um, but I'll let you know how long I did it. So, yeah. And also, if you're a kid watching this, make sure you have parent um, help with this, putting it in. Because a kid should not do this. Every oven is different, so we're going to check on it in about like 18 minutes. So, yeah. So now we're gonna clean up while it's um, baking, but after we clean up, we are going to make our worst party ever whipped cream. And of course, a cake cannot be finished without whipped cream. So yeah, let's do it. So we just finished taking our cake out of the oven and we did end up um, letting it bake for 30 minutes, but now we're gonna let it cool. Um, but while it's cooling, we are gonna make the whipped cream. Let's do it. Our 
cake for letting it cool. And remember, stick your toothpick in the middle and in like two other different spots of the cake. And if it comes out clean, it's amazing, but just let it cool. Let's do the whipped cream. Okay, so for this recipe, um, it's called Worst Party Ever Whipped Cream, and you're gonna need um, half a teaspoon of Merwaldian vanilla. Also, you can just use regular vanilla. This doesn't exist, remember that. Um, strawberries, be sure to wash them, and if you're going to the store to buy them, make sure they don't have any brown on them. They're perfect red. So, yeah. Uh, two tablespoons of Carnesian sugar. Also, just regular sugar. And one cup of cold, heavy whipping cream. So, yeah. Yay! Okay, first, whisk vanilla whipping cream, and sugar until light and fluffy texture starts to take place. I um, took a bowl and froze it in the freezer. We'll put it in the freezer because that usually helps. So I recommend doing it. Now use a mixer with this attachment to mix or use a whisk. For the sugar, we chose to use powdered sugar, but if you don't have powdered sugar, you can just use regular sugar. Well, this is the consistency you want. Oh, <laughs> is it not this? This is what you want to look like, nice, soft, and puffy. And I recommend using a hand mixer because if you use a whisk, let's just say you're gonna be there for a very long time. This is what it should look like. Nice, soft, and puffy. So, yeah. I let my cake cool. This is how it looks like. We flipped it over. And now we're gonna add our whipped cream and strawberries. Smooth. This is how I decorated mine. You can decorate yours however you want. And I think I might add some chocolate chips on my slice. But remember, you can do whatever you want. So here is my slice. I think it turned out really nice. And remember, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to add the strawberries or chocolate chips. I just want mine to be like that. So yeah, but I'm gonna taste it on camera to show you my reaction. Here we go. Mmm. So it was really good. It's really soft. It's one of those like dry cakes kind of, but not like too dry. You're like grossed out by it. It like has the perfect amount of everything. I can taste the vanilla. I love it. This is my magical cookbook. It's like the exact same like type from the show. Of course, it's not the exact same one. But you can see it has more of my recipes, like POV popcorn, some of the clue clues, um, magic cookies, lay waste lunar lollipops. Ooh, those sound good. Um, Jake's special, special sauce. And if you don't know who Jake is, he's one of the characters. Really funny. Gobble, gobble up green beans, unscrambled eggs, French, fresh French toast. Sorry, some of them are like kind of weird names, but 
Someone can call their French toast whatever they want if I get to eat it. <laughs> but um, be sure to go watch Just That Magic on Amazon Prime. And be sure to go watch my other cooking videos of Just That Magic, which are baking in your hand in your head banana bread and single serving cinnamon brownie bites. They were really good, so I recommend you trying them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!